I want people to know me as Chanda, not as the president and CEO of the organization. I want them to know who I am. And the role I play is an additional part, but I'm Chanda first. I was just like every other little kid and had a lot of interests and um, was really creative. My mom was really creative and was a teacher when I was really young. And um, I will tell you, I didn't really have anything picked of what I wanted to be um, until I was in a car wreck and had a really uh, painful experience in healthcare. And that really, for me, set a thought in my head of I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to do something that could help families navigate the healthcare system better. Um, I never touched a children's hospital when I was going through my back issue after the car wreck. And I will never forget the first time I walked into a hospital interviewing for an administrative fellowship. And it just felt different. And I felt, I was like, I have to be here. Like, I have to work here. This is, this is what I was meant to do. And so I think um, a really horrible experience as a child with a car wreck really helped um, change my trajectory for the impact that um, I think I probably always was meant to have, but didn't really know the pathway to do it. I think probably for me, the part that it helped me understand is that every child deserves to be cared for in a children's hospital. Every child deserves that. Um, we have staff and people here trained to work with families, to work with little kids, to explain what's happening. What we provide in a children's hospital to me is the most unique environment. It is a service and an, in a time that nobody wants to be here. And so it's our obligation to make it the best experience and normalize as much of that abnormal situation as we can. Um, the experiences that I've had at both Texas Children's and Arkansas Children's have given me such a strong foundation to help have a positive impact with a great team of people who are here at Children's. And that, that for me is um, sort of a once in a lifetime opportunity and it feels like that. Um, and so I feel honored and grateful to be able to be a part of the team here. The transition has been easy, our move has been easy, um, and it, it sort of reinforces to me that people make the difference in that process. For about 10 or 15 years, I was a court-appointed child advocate, and for my whole career have worked to, um, to help kids in foster care. It's why I still have a Houston cell phone number, because I told all of the kids that I've worked with that I will always keep the same cell phone because I want them to know they can always call me, that I'm always gonna be there, I'm always gonna help connect them to their siblings and be that kind of common point for them. My husband and I love to travel, which COVID has so totally thrown a monkey wrench into that plan, uh, but we love to travel. Um, we always have a bigger house than people think two people need because we have family that come and visit for a long time. Um, a lot of his family still in Venezuela and in Miami, and so we always have, you know, People come and stay for a long period of time, so I like to have enough space so everybody can spread out. So he's where I practice my Spanish. I am a high energy leader. Um, I like to be in it with the team. I do not stand on the sideline. Um, this work is personal for me. Um, I am really passionate about what we are honored to be able to do for patients and families. So for me, I think and people will hear me say this, that leadership determines the outcome every time. It is about the leader, and everyone is a leader. You lead from the role you're in. Leadership is not about title. It is about your action, it is about outcomes. And so everyone needs to be in this. Healthcare, the work we do is a team sport. Um, I, I like to joke, I like to laugh. I think the work we do is very heavy. I think it is really serious. And I think that having a little bit of levity is important. Um, and I think that comes through having personal relationships with people. So I've been doing a lot of rounding already since I've been here. And I told everybody, like I've had a chaperone with me, someone walking around with me because I didn't even know enough to know how to get lost yet. Now I know how to get lost. Um, but I told the, the staff and the team when I was talking to them, you'll see me by myself walking around and talking to people. Talk to me, you know, let me know what's going on. I, ask a lot of questions and really my focus is around listening right now 
but I need people to talk so that I can listen to what's happening. So I'm just, I'm really honored to be here and see all the potential that we have in front of us.